Thoughts, 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 thoughts. Time passes. Natsuki is strangely quiet now. I glance over at her. It looks like she's started to fall asleep. Hey, Natsuki. Yeah? Suddenly, Natsuki collapses straight into me. <laughs> hey. Uh, hi. Oh, jeez. Natsuki, are you okay? Here. Monica reaches into her bag and pulls out some kind of protein bar. She throws it in Natsuki's direction. Natsuki's eyes suddenly light up again. She snatches the bar from the floor and immediately tears off the wrapper. I told you not to go! <laughs> she doesn't even finish her sentence before stuffing it into her mouth. Don't worry, Hallie. She's fine. It just happens every now and then. That's why I always keep a snack in my bag for her. Anyway, why don't we all share bones now? Oh, that was a weird noise. I don't know if that was an intentional bug or not. Who should I show my poem to first? I guess we can try and catch Monica on the first for this run. I could, or I should start with Monica. Yesterday she seemed eager to read my poem, and I want her to know I'm putting in the effort. Hi, Hallie. I guess it doesn't matter after all, does it? I like it, Hallie. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. Uh -huh. Oh, jeez. No, no. It kind of makes me think of something Natsuki would write. And she's a good writer, too. So take that as a compliment. <laughs> if you say so. Yep. If you're interested in Natsuki, then always keep a snack on you. She'll cling to you like a puppy. <laughs> Natsuki's dad doesn't give her lunch money or leave her any food in the house, so she's in a fussy mood pretty often. But sometimes she just loses all of her strength and shuts down. Like earlier. This is just a guess, but I think they're, or she's so small because her malnutrition is interfering with her adolescent growth. But hey, some guys are into petite girls too, you know. Sorry, just trying to look at the bright side. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Uh, don't worry, I'm not very good. No, it's fine, Monica. Don't worry about it. Uh, uh, Natsuki. Her eyes ain't gonna explode this time. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a standard I like this poem reaction. Hey, Yuri. But for some reason, Yuri likes it too. How odd. How very odd. And then a big fight happens. Uh, we, we tried to side with Yuri last time, but you know, I mean, we're trying to side with Natsuki this time, so we'll just... Yeah. Hi, Monica. Hi. Hi. That, that's enough. That's enough. It's like flickering weirdly. Okay, I can't click the buttons after this. Oh. Sorry about that. <laughs> and so we moved on. All right, more Natsuki. Uh, cry. Whoopsies. Socks. Papa. Uh, kawaii. Yes. Mm, kitty. Fun. More. Marshmallow. <sighs> Boop. Mouse. Uh. Cheer. Well, I should have checked to see if fantasy is a U word now. Oh, wait, no, it was always a Natsuki word. So even without Sari, it would still be hers. Uh. Fickle. Aw. Friends. Whatever. Games. Sure. Uh, doki doki. Mm -mm -mm. That should be plenty. Probably not going to be too much to read from here on out. Not till we get to, uh, the very end. Ah, I suppose so, I say. I don't think I could say no to you after you gave that book to me. Well, I guess I need to make sure Natsuki isn't waiting for me. After we finished reading yesterday, she... She's fine. She's reading over there, see? Don't think about her so much. She's used to being ignored. Come on, we're going over there. Okay. Uh, hold on one moment, please. Okay, nah, looks like we did not get the, the Natsuki weird scene with the mouth. That one's kind of uncommon, so I'm not too surprised. Also, we can skip, so let's do it. We have a lovely book reading with Yuri. Monica. Hi again, Hallie. How's the writing going? 
All right, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. <laughs> I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Want to share what you wrote for today? Sure, here you go. I get my poem as Monica. All right. Great job, Hallie. She was going ooh in her head. Uh-huh. We never got the Shell Silverstein quote from Monica. Hmm. Hmm. Well, it's not terrible, but it's pretty disappointing after your last one. Then again, if this one was as good as your last one, I would be completely pissed. Well, I guess I wanted to try something a little different this time. Fair enough. You're still new to this, so I wouldn't expect you to find your style right away. I mean, everyone in the club writes really different from each other. Maybe you'll find a little influence from all of us. For instance, I noticed that you were spending some time with Yuri today. Not that I care who you spend your time with. After all, I was taught never to expect anything from anybody. So it's not like I was waiting for you or anything. Still, you should at least look over my poem. You'll probably be able to learn something from it. <laughs> ah yes, the base 64 poem. Hallie, why didn't you come read with me today? I was waiting for you. I was waiting for a long time. It was the only thing I had to look forward to today. Why did you ruin it? Do you like Yuri more? I think you're better off not associating with her. Are you listening to me? Yuri is a sick freak. That should be obvious by now. So just play with me instead. Okay? You don't hate me, Hallie, do you? Do you hate me? Do you want me or to make me go home crying? The club is the only place I feel safe. Don't ruin that for me. Don't ruin it. Please. Just stop talking to Yuri. Play with me instead. That's all I have. Play with me. Play with me. D. There we go. No problem. Everything's fine. Don't have to worry about none of that. I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today. Yuri smiles and takes a deep breath. I like just holding it. Uh, I mean, the poem turned out good. It's, uh, well, there are some things that you could work on, but that doesn't really matter. It feels like anything written by you is a treasure. Uh, that came out a little awkward. Well, let's move on. Here's the poem I wrote. You don't have to like it or anything. So there's Wheel again. You know, fun thing about Earth funny thing about Wheel and, like, the original game and its poems and stuff. Oh, I guess we need to read this one first. Hold on. How did we get this one twice? Oh, that's weird. I've never seen it actually randomize the same poem in there twice. But but anyway, what I was going to say is that there's actually three separate fonts for Yuri, but one of them goes unused. There's her regular fonts that she you see in her normal poems, and then there's the crazy font that you see in her final poem, but there was actually... A, a second one that I presume would have been used for the second poem, but they didn't for some reason. It's just, it was left over in the code. So there you go. Fun fact for you today. I'm pretty sure there's actually no reason to write for Natsuki anymore beyond this point, but we'll do it anyway. Uh, there's probably like some additional mean dialogue for her later. Because <laughs> they're nastier to her whenever... <laughs> You pick her over Yuri in Act 2. This game is so mean. <laughs> uh, I don't think any of these are Natsuki words. Oh, bad was. It's okay. Nella. Now, uh, I am lazy. Feeling extra lazy these days. Eh, dream. Sure, whatever. Hi, Hallie. Hi, Yuri. Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt, so as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl will be nice this time. So, Natsuki, nobody cares. Why don't you go look for some coins under the vending machines or something? <laughs> Poor Natsuki. Oh man, I'm the last one here again. 
Were you practicing piano again? Yeah! <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and still trying to take or make time for piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival, too. Anyway, Hallie, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could press skip. And so, we did the thing. Uh, oh god, the skip can't even make this go quicker. <laughs> Apparently not. Yeah, we're just here. O okay. Um, that's enough of that. Monica. Allie, I think you saw something you weren't supposed to see. Okay, I'm not going to click skip here because... There's something Monica does that we didn't see last time because we didn't actually get to her third poem in Act 2. She was like, Don't say I didn't warn you. Oh, oh. There, there, you see? You see? Anyway, I worked really, really hard on this poem, so I hope that it's uh, effective. Here it goes. Your PC ran into a problem. It needs to restart. We're just collecting some air. Oh. Jeez, that really startled me. Um... Oh, well, I guess I kind of messed up that, uh, writing this poem. I was just trying to... Never mind. Uh, hold on. Is there a way to hide the the box? Oh, yeah. Okay. If you'd like to more, more, you can search. The, 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 the. Something failed. Can't see it behind you, Monica. I'm pretty sure there was something about her, like, escape attempt in there. Let's just move on. Yay! Well, Natsuki? This one's all right. All right? Well, yeah. About as good as yesterday's day, anyway. I still can't really tell how much you actually care about writing, but either way, you're doing all right. Even though you're not really spending time with anyone but Yuri, I still think it's nice to have activities that we all participate in. So you better keep working hard. I mean, I know I'm not president or vice president or anything, but that doesn't mean you can let me down, okay? So at least read mine, too, for now. But just to be clear, this poem means a lot to me. So read it carefully, okay? That was much nicer than how she presented it last time. It's okay, Natsuki. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Yuri. There we go. We skipped some terrible stuff. Yeah! We got the dream all three times. Oh wait, no, this is a different dream. Alright, well, hold on. A dream. I was wandering an abandoned warehouse at night. I was lost, looking for an exit. I just wanted to go home. I came upon a huge empty room, its ceiling and walls beyond the deep blackness. My steps were quick in order to hurry to the other side, or to a wall, anything. Suddenly, the ground was no longer beneath my feet. I stepped into a hole of indeterminate width. I fell for a good five seconds before crashing into warm water. Figuring out which way was up, I surfaced myself. The air was humid, and the sound of my splashing reverberated endlessly. My vision was completely swallowed by the dark. With one hand, I could feel the damp metal wall of the container. My lungs were already getting tired. I'm pretty sure that that one was Yuri. It's kind of really hard to tell because, like, since they're not written in any fonts. But last theory I read, I'm pretty sure they guessed it, it being Yuri, and I was like, okay, I'll go with that. Uh, stagnating air is common foreshadowing and such. Natsuki, you can make cupcakes. I know you're at least good at that. Mm. Yuri, you can... Well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> no, it really doesn't matter. Oh, and apparently this does work? No, see, like, I I swear I clicked it and it didn't work. <laughs> the, the people on my Discord were like, no, it works, Allie. You can still do it. But I, you, you heard the confirm noise. It didn't work. You know what? No, Yuri, no, we're not doing it this time. We're not, okay? We're just, we're just not. Yeah, yeah, you're not, you're not changing my mind. Not changing my mind at all, Yuri. You just want attention, don't you? Okay, let's see if this still works. Because if it does... Yeah, see, it advances 
one uh, day cycle every time you reload. So this might actually be faster than skipping. I guess we can compare the footage and find out. Because this is the first time I've ever really recorded myself doing it this way. But yeah. It sometimes might... I don't know if it's any faster with the skipping in Unity. But it's generally faster than this in the original version. Because that's a lot of text boxes to skip. Alright, it's festival time! Why are you before me? Yeah! And so on. Oscar runs away, Monica shows up, things go south pretty quick. Yep, 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 yep. Enjoy your last meal, Monica. Uh, can you hear me? Is it working? Yay, there you are! And there's no real reason to read all this again, uh, but let's see. Oh, we're like halfway through the episode. Mm. Uh, I guess I could just make the other episodes in the set longer by like a minute or so. Because here's the thing. Monica has a lot to say in Act 3, and I would like to record it all. But I don't think cutting it up into 20 minute chunks is going to be feasible just to do the nature of Monica's talk. So what I'm thinking is... I'm just going to marathon it. We're just going to have one episode where all of the X3 dialogues are contained. And I'm just going to kick back on the couch here for about an hour or so, listening to Monica. And, you know, I'll read what she says, but... we got to get there first. It's not like we can adjust the text speed. It is fixed at this rate. It's kind of funny. Sometimes there's um, a bug you can get in the original game where when you get to this part, uh... I don't know exactly what causes it, but you can mash, um, or, or fast, or fast click, etc. Uh, to make her text appear instantly and, uh, blink on through it really quick instead of having to wait for it to scroll like this. But yeah, I, I have no idea what causes it. Uh, sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't, and I never really pinned down what does it. It seems to be something, like, in advance of this scene. But that wouldn't really make sense, because, like, uh, I'm pretty sure the game restarts whenever you uh, uh, start Act 3. And you would think it would just have wiped all whatever conditional variables could cause such a thing like that. But it's whatever. It doesn't matter. It's fine. Yeah, we're gonna go out together, Monica. We'll go out by staying in. We'll go out to the far reaches of your mind. And that'll be that. The script is broken. We're going to write you a perfect poem, and then we're going to move on with our lives. Our lives together. Me and Monica. Forever. How long do you reckon it'll be before Monica After Story is compatible with DLC Plus? Heavy sigh. Yeah. Hopefully never. Any percent world record attempts achievement unlocked? <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's what you get when you clear a poem in an, under a certain amount of time. Ah, oh, that's funny. I don't know if those achievements pop up in my, like, view window there. I hope they don't. That's kind of irritating. But that's funny. <laughs> that's a funny one. I like that. <laughs> da 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 da. Gosh, we would never delete you, Monica. Not until you ran out of things to say and we got bored. Or unless we were really, really angry at you. Me, Monica, evil. Eh. If you kill people, you're evil. Oh yeah, and I guess I'm still recording this, so she's still going to try and jump scare us. Monica, we need to get your talk. Or the episode is dragging on. I can only fit so much onto the other episodes. Before they get too long. You can't scare me. Da, 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 da. Detecting my OBS like that. Okay, we made it. And now, that's going to do it for this episode, I guess. And the next time, it will be nothing but Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica.